Today I'm going to walk you through the Peachy King Tea pattern. Um, so you're going to need a worsted weight yarn and a size J crochet hook. I'm using Juniper Moon Farm Cumulus. This color is pearl. Um, in the actual shirt sample that I made, I used pearl and my main color was called Goldfish Sparked, which is kind of a strange color name, but it's a fun yarn. So. Uh, you don't have to use this yarn, of course, you can use any worsted weight yarn you'd like. This one is kind of a little poofier, so keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm not going to make the whole shirt here, but I am going to walk you through uh, the first few rows, the first repeat. So to start, we're going to do um, foundation double crochet. And you would do however many it says for your size in the pattern. For this sample, I'm just going to do 19 stitches, just so you can get an idea of how the pattern works. Okay, so I've done my foundation double crochet. So this is row one, just foundation double crochet as long as it says. And I'm going to do a chain five and turn. Now I'm going to skip my next two stitches. So that chain five counts as my first single crochet. So now I'm going to skip two stitches. And I'm going to do a single crochet. Now I'll chain four instead of five. So the first one was five because it counts as a single crochet and a chain four. So now I'll just do a chain four. Skip two stitches and single crochet. Chain four. Skip two stitches and single crochet. So this top is worked top down in panels in the front and the back. So this is what will be up at the neckline, that lacy section. So chain four, skip two stitches, and single crochet. And we're just doing this all the way across. Skip two, and a single crochet. And the turn chain. Well, normally I would go through both loops, but it's being difficult and I don't feel like it. Okay, so that was the end of row two. So now I've got these lacy loops ready for the next row. Now I'm going to chain three and turn. Now I'll start by slip stitching in the first chain space, and again, if I had gone through both loops here like I should have, it wouldn't have this gap, so that's not normal. Okay, so slip stitch in my first chain space. Now chain three. In this chain space, I'm going to do a double crochet. Chain one. And double crochet in the same chain space. Chain three, I'll slip stitch here. Chain three, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Chain three, slip stitch. Chain three, and you'll just do this all the way across, alternating the slip stitch or double crochet, chain one, double crochet in each chain space. Now to finish this row, we're going to do a double crochet in the last chain of the turn chain. Okay, now chain three and turn. So that was the end of row three. So this is row four now. We chained three and we turned. Now we're going to do a slip stitch in the chain one that is between the two double crochets. Chain one, double crochet. 
chain three. And now in the slip stitch, we're going to do a DC chain one, DC chain three. So this is basically the same as the previous row, but instead of working over the chains, we're working in either the space between the two double crochets or in the slip stitch. So now we chain three, we're going to do a slip stitch in between these double crochets. And we'll chain three again. And now our double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the slip stitch. So both those double crochets are in the same slip stitch. Now chain three, slip stitch in the chain space between the double crochets, chain three. Again in the slip stitch we're doing a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And now we're going to end with a single crochet in the top stitch of this turn chain. And that's mostly just keeping our stitch count right so that it works out nicely. Okay, row five. We're going to chain five and turn. We'll do a single crochet in the chain three space. Chain three. Sorry, four, chain four. And now single crochet in the chain three space. We're only working in the chain three spaces on this row. So we're basically recreating these loops that we started with, these chain four loops. So we'll chain four. And we'll do a single crochet in the next chain three space. Chain four. Single crochet in the next chain three space, chain four, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain four, and to end we're going to have a single crochet in the top of the turn chain. Okay, now this next row, we're re-establishing our double crochets. So we're going to chain three, that does count as our first double crochet, and turn. And now we're going to do two double crochets in each chain space, and one double crochet in each single crochet. So at the end of this row, your stitch count should be the same as your starting row. So here's two double crochet in the chain space one double crochet in the single crochet. Double crochet, sorry, two double crochets in this chain space, double crochet in the single crochet. And again, we'll just do this all the way across. Two double crochets in each chain space, and a double crochet in the single crochet. And at the very end here, we're going to end with a double crochet in the last stitch of that turn chain. Okay, so now I should have the same number of double crochets that I started with. So I started with 19, I should have 19 here. And this is the lace section that is at the top of the shirt. So this is where the neckline would be, and this is where the shirt will continue. Okay, I used up all of my other color when I made my top, so I've got this. I don't remember the name of this color, but it's the same yarn. So I'm actually going to take this out and now when I do that last stitch I'm going to switch colors. And so now going on with row 7, we're going to work with this color. And you'll work this color all the way until 
you get to the very bottom edge where it's going to repeat some more lace. Okay, so row seven, chain three and turn. Two, double crochet, double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And now this next stitch is a little bit funky. I, I'm not sure if this stitch has an official name because I've never done it before or seen it. I'm calling it the straddle because it kind of straddles this post. So what we're gonna do is yarn over, insert your hook on the right side of the post, pull up a loop, and then insert your hook on the left side of the post and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through three, yarn over and pull through two. So this stitch is gonna look different on the front than it does on the back. So just be aware that that is normal. Um, as you repeat the pattern, it will alternate whether this side is the front of the shirt or the back of the shirt. So if that bothers you, you can rejoin your yarn to make sure it's front side, but um, it doesn't bother me, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, so now we're just gonna repeat this going across. We'll do two regular double crochet. And then a straddle stitch. I'll do another slow version of that here in a sec. So double crochet, double crochet. And here is the straddle, so we're doing two regular and one straddle. So yarn over like a regular double crochet, insert your hook to the right of the post, pull up a loop, then insert your hook to the left of the post, and pull up a loop. Now you should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Now two regular double crochet. And a straddle. Two regular double crochet. And then at the very end of the row, you'll have three regular double crochet because you'll have the two for those stitches and then one in the turn chain. So at the beginning and end of the row, you have three double crochets in a row. So there's the one that is your turn chain and two more, and then you just alternate straddle, two double crochet, straddle, two double crochet. So that's row seven. For row eight, I'm gonna chain four and turn. So that chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. We'll skip one stitch, double crochet in the next. And chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next, and chain one. We'll do this all the way across. Skip a stitch, double crochet in the next one, and chain one. I love that this top is super simple. Um, it's really easy to adjust for size because there's no shaping, so you can easily make it wider uh, if you want to, or narrower, or shorter, or longer. It's a five row repeat once we get into the body of the shirt, which is what we just started. All right, so at the very end, again, our last double crochet will be in the turn chain. Now for row nine, we'll chain three and turn. And now we're gonna be doing crosses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip the first chain space and double crochet in the next. Now we're gonna go back and double crochet in our skipped space. So we're gonna make X's around each of these posts, basically. So now we're gonna do our next double crochet in this chain space on the left side of the next stitch. 
So we're skipping this one. It's the same one we already went into there. We're skipping that one and going in the next one. And then we'll go back and double crochet in that one we just skipped. Sorry, I'm gonna get more yarn. Again, skip the one we have already worked into. Double crochet in the next one. And then double crochet in that one we skipped. So each of these chain spaces, except for the ones at the very end, are going to actually have two stitches worked into them. The first stitch from this cross and the second stitch from this cross are going to be worked in that same space. And we'll do this all the way across the row. Okay, so the, the very end of this row is a little bit wonky. To make the stitch count work right, at the end of the row, you're gonna do an extra double crochet in this chain space, and a double crochet in the top of that turn chain. So now again, your stitch count should be the same as it was for your very first row. So I started with 19, I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so I'm good. Now row 10 is just the same as row eight, so we'll do a chain four. And again, that counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Skip the next stitch, double crochet, chain one. Skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one. double crochet, and chain one, and we're just going to do this all the way across. These rows are the ones that give it that lacy look, but they're super simple to do. It's basically just making a crochet mesh for just a row. And again, our last double crochet will be in the top of our turn chain. Okay. For row 11, chain 3, turn. And now we are just double crocheting our, across. So we're going to work one double crochet in each chain space and one double crochet in each double crochet. So your stitch count again will be exactly the same as it was when you started. And this is the end of the five row repeat for the body of the shirt. So if you want to adjust the length of your shirt, um, you just adjust how many times you would do this five row repeat. And a double crochet in the turn chain. Okay, so that is our five row repeat. One, two, three, four, five rows for the body of the shirt. And you will notice that this top part is wider and that's just because of the open lace work, but that's okay because it actually makes it hang really nicely and it will make it, um, when you do the little bit of lace at the end edge, it'll make it flare out a little bit so it's really flattering. So you'll just repeat these five rows until um, you've reached almost the end of the shirt and you'll have about this much more lace section, which um, when you do the lace, it's basically the same stitches um, you'll see in the pattern. So I'm not gonna show you that because I think 
if you can do this part, you should be able to do the um, bottom ruffle edge. And that's it. All right, the link for the pattern, you can purchase it from Ravelry or Etsy. It's in the description. And happy crocheting.